hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to another nail video and in this video i'm sharing with you guys this sassy and chic nail polish applicator i'm going to review it for you guys i know it's been overdue and it's been it's been a while i mean i wanted to upload this a while back a while ago because i purchased this about at least a month Maybe not that long. I don't know. Time goes by fast, but then it doesn't. So, um, yeah. It's a nail polish applicator, sassy and chic. And it says on the back, nail polish applicator for extra help when painting your nails. Slide this tool onto the top of your nail polish bottle. The larger handle helps you too. Hold the brush more steadily. Have more control when painting with your non-dominant hand at precision over where you paint so we are going to give it a try and again i purchased this from the dollar tree so let's open it up and see what it is like should have brought my scissors so i won't break a nail trying to get into this this thing why did I bring my scissors? Because I'm crazy like that. But I got it anyway. Uh huh. Let's see. So this is what it looks like. The sides of it. And down below right here, this is where you put the bottle in. As you guys can see, it has like slit there and a slit there to fit bottles the top of the bottles polish and it feels like a little plasticky silicone like it's not too hard it's not too soft i guess to really hold the bottle polish i don't know we're gonna see how this is gonna work i brought um different polisher bottles like china glaze opi maybelline la colors Sally Hansen, different tops of the bottles to see how this is going to work. And we're going to try with the Sally Hansen. I think it might be too big for this one. Ooh, I don't know, guys. I'm not going to break a nail to push this in. Oh, uh uh. Look, it's too, yeah, it's too wide. So that's not going to work. Oh, let's try let's try Morgan Taylor let's see let's try and again well I guess you got to be really strong and get it in there look at that let's see and it, it goes up to right here I think you can come up that far but I'm not gonna go that far because then I got to Put it out so I don't know I think you still can use it this way too though right and then it might help you to open up the bottles easier because like me when I screw my polishes on really tight I have like an issue with it but I think I don't know do you hold it would you hold it this way I think you hold it this way would you hold it this way it depends on how you feel I don't know they didn't say how to hold it hmm I guess you'll go this way but the brush has to be has to be right for you so you have to make sure Make sure the brush is on the right way for you to polish your nails. So we're gonna try another, we're gonna try another polish. So that's Morgan Tell. It works good with that one. I have. What else do I have? Let's see the Maybelline. It's probably too long. The next probably too long. What do you guys think? Think it's gonna work? Oh, let me see. I think it's gonna work. And this has a long neck. 
and it does work. Look at that. Huh, really cool. So let's try another bottle. Let's see. Let's try OPI. Let's see, can you put the OPI in there? See guys, I'm right-handed. I have to hold it like this. So it does go in, but like I said, not all the way. But I guess if you wanted to get all the way, I guess you could push it up a little further. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna struggle with it. So, and I think it doesn't have to go all the way, which is a good thing. I mean, who said it has to go all the way down to the bottom? You know what I'm saying? Just to get your polish on to your nails. So, hey, that's even better. So, it does work on different bottles. So, I have another one. I know China Glaze is pretty much the same as OPI. The tops are. So, we're not going to try China Glaze. You see what I'm saying? This is China Glaze. This is OPI. It's pretty much the same. So we're not gonna try China Glaze. Let's try Sally Hansen. And I don't think it's going to. Nope. Oh, Gus. I don't know what's going on with my camera, guys. But yeah, it's too wide. It's not gonna work. It's too wide. And let's see, we have, you know, I had to try the LA color. Let's see about that one. No, it might be too. I know it should be able to go down in there. Oh, yeah, it's going to fit. Like I said, it doesn't have to go all the way down below as long as you can get it on tight enough where you could use it to polish your nails. You see what I'm saying? So it would work for this one too. Yes. See what I'm saying? Doesn't have to go all the way down, just far enough where you could get a hold on it to paint your nails. And the last one I have is the Essie, which this Essie top is a little, it's a little slender here. Let's see, it should fit that one. This is the Trying to find one that can fit all the way. Oh, an Essie goes all the way. Look at that, see? Yeah. Yeah, goes all the way down to the neck. See what I'm saying? But it's okay. It doesn't have to go all the way down to the neck as long as it can get on. Because like I said, the Sally Hansen will not work. The Morgan and the Sally Hansen is too big. But other than that, I give this the whole the um, with the tops of the nail polishes. I'll give it uh, I give it a nine and a half. It's not bad for a buck and a twenty five cent. Yeah, it's not bad. So now we're gonna paint our nails. We're gonna use we're gonna use this LA Color Gel. This one is called Undressed. And we're going to, because I want to go all the way down. Does this go all the way down? It didn't go all the way down, did it? It was too fat. No, I don't want to mess with that. We're going to do the Essie. She's got to be kind of strong getting it in here. Shoot, by the time you do all of this, you'd be tired of painting your nails. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding guys. Okay, let's try it. Like I said, I always have some issues and I don't have an issue in painting my nails. I've been painting my nails forever and ever ago. Just sometimes I have the shakes, which that is the coffee thing. So that's not bad because I have too much coffee. So we're gonna see how this is gonna go. Let's see, I'm gonna try the thumb. And I'm holding it this way. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how I would judge this for myself because I'm used to painting my nails. And it's pretty much the same for me. 
so it's really kind of hard to tell so let's try it so I tried it this way now I'm going to try holding it this way let's see okay which is the brush is not really facing that way where I could paint it that way you know what I'm saying if that makes sense but I can hold it this way so let's try Uh, I don't know. It's the same for me. It's the same for me. So let's try my left hand. See if the left hand can do the right, which is my non-dominant, which is so freaking hard. It's not hard. I'm used to doing it. But on camera, it's kind of weird. So, I don't know. Let's see if it helps. And it does, I don't know, that's about the same to me. I don't know. I guess it's okay. I mean, to me, it's pretty much the same as I paint my nails, like I said. It's for someone who, 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 who struggles with, to me, struggles with painting their nails and just getting that balance to, to go over your nails, you know what I'm saying, if that makes sense. But other than that, for buck 25, it's not bad because it does help if you if if you tighten up your bot, polished bottles like me real tight this this really helps I like that part so I love this part so I will keep it up here with my nail supplies because I'm always tightening up my bottles like so freaking tight and I can barely unloose them so that's good for that and they did not add that on so I'm adding that to the review and um, Painting your nails, have more control steadily, um, not shaking. I guess it's okay if you're new, it's friendly beginner. So if you guys are not used to painting your nails and you like painting your nails, you just start now, this is for you. But for me, it would just be good for me just to open up my bottles. Yeah, but like I say, 125, hey, it doesn't hurt. So I give this product for me, I will give it a five. What do you guys think before I say it? I know you guys are gonna say something weird or crazy. I'm gonna give it a six. Six out of 10. Because like I said, you can unscrew your bottles easily if you have that heavy hand like I do. And some of you guys out there have it too. I know you do because you commented down below. So yeah. And if you're new and you're not used to painting your nails. So yeah, this would be a 10 for you guys. But hope you like this review. Tell me what you think. And yeah, Dollar Tree nail polish applicator and it comes in I think two colors it was pink and I think blue and I got the pink why not and you know what I don't see them anymore either I don't and when I picked up mine um, it was a lady there she was like how do you feel about these I'm like I'm not sure but I'm going to purchase one because it's only a buck 25 and if you like painting your nails and you have and you struggle with it, hey, go for it. So she ended up picking it up. So I hope she ended up liking hers. So let me know your thoughts down below. And I will check you in the next one. Love, love, love you guys so much. Ruby Gems. You guys take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Love, 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 love you. Bye.